Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy with Healthy Ambitions and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the best keto pie crust. I'm actually gonna make two pie crusts, one sweet, one savory. It's honestly pretty much the same recipe for both with one small little tweak of ingredients at the end of making the pie crust. So this video is gonna be just about the pie crust but it's gonna launch two more videos, hopefully, and that is making a sweet pie and a savory pie. Right now, my plans are for a lemon meringue because it has been requested by my audience. And for the savory, I'm planning on making an easy taco pie. Usually, I do an easy taco pie, the one from Carolyn Ketchum and All Day I Dream About Food, and it's wonderful. And I'm basically gonna use her same taco pie recipe, but hers does not include a crust. And so this one is gonna be her same easy taco pie, with a crust, but that's for another video. Today, we are just making pie crust. All right, let's go and take a look at those ingredients. For the base ingredients of the pie crust, you're gonna have one and a quarter cups of almond flour, two tablespoons of coconut flour, a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and a quarter teaspoon of salt, one egg, two ounces of cream cheese, and three tablespoons of butter. Both recipes, sweet and savory, are gonna include those ingredients. So you don't actually even need to add ingredients for sweet or savory. The pie crust is wonderfully buttery and flaky as is, but I do like to sweeten it just a little bit for pies. And depending on what kind of pie I'm making, I'll just put like a squirt of stevia liquid drops in it. Just one, about, I think one squirt, it usually sucks up about half a dropper full. So I'll do the chocolate one for chocolate pie. I'll do the pumpkin spice for pumpkin pie. And then for most other pies, I will do this, the vanilla cream stevia. I do think I have some lemon stevia up there, which I will probably use for the lemon meringue pie. For the savory crust, you can have a lot of fun with those ingredients. I would say up to another teaspoon of some other type of savory spice. You know, for a taco pie, you could add like chili powder. If you were doing a chicken pot pie, I think adding in some Italian seasoning would be really good. So about, like I said, about a teaspoon of additional savory seasonings. Have fun with it, go wild. Anything is actually going to be good. But like I said, you don't have to add any additional seasoning. It is good just the way it is. All right guys, I showed you the ingredients. Let's get to making the first pie crust. It is going to be a sweet pie crust. I probably won't go through the whole thing um, for both pie crusts because it's all going into, can you see this? It's all going into the food processor. Guys, this is like, this is so, so easy. One thing I do need to disclaimer, the butter and the cream cheese, do not let it get to room temperature. You want this cold right out of the fridge. I don't know about you, but this is wonderful, wonderful for me because I always forget to set the butter and cream cheese out to bring it to room temperature anyway. And with this recipe, you don't have to. All right guys, let's get to making this pie crust. The first thing you want to do is add your dry ingredients to the food processor and pulse until they were just mixed. Next, you're gonna add your butter and your cream cheese and pulse until it's good and crumbly. And finally, you're gonna add in the rest of your ingredients, whether it's sweet or savory, which is gonna be an egg and then either the sweet or savory ingredients. And then you're gonna pulse this again until a dough ball forms. Almost a dough ball. You want to take the dough out of the food processor and then wrap it up in saran wrap and let it sit in the fridge for at least one hour. Okay, I'm gonna make the savory pie crust now. We'll run through it much quicker. I'm not gonna talk through any of that. The only addition is instead of the lemon stevia drops, I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, let's get this made and wrapped up and then we can get on to baking these pie crust. Okay. 
All right, both are made. I have savory, I have sweet. I labeled them so I wouldn't know which one they are. I'm gonna smell them. These are gonna go in the fridge for at least an hour, but they can sit in the fridge overnight or you could even make them a couple of days ahead of time if you want to. The main thing is you just want to get them chilled enough so that they're not too gooey because these pie crusts will roll out nice and easily and perfect. And when we come back, I will show you how that works. All right, I'm gonna put these in the fridge and uh, we'll be back in an hour. Okay, it's been more than an hour. It's been more like 24 hours, which is why I have on a different shirt. But now we're going to continue with baking the pie crust. The pie crust dough has been sitting in the fridge overnight. I just put the oven on 400 degrees. They're both going to bake. Both Sweet and Savior are going to bake for 10 minutes in the oven. What I love about this pie crust is that you can roll it out. And so all you need here, do you need some parchment paper? You need a roller and I've got both of these greased for the sweet pie crust. I have greased it with coconut oil and for the savory, I have greased it with avocado oil. Um, once they're rolled out, we're going to basically do kind of a flip <laughs> into, into the pie pan. Sometimes it works flawlessly. Sometimes I have to do a little, with a little reshaping and bits smashing together and we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'm gonna pull the first pie crust dough out of the fridge, get it rolled out, and we will get to baking it. All right, the pie crusts are ready to go in the oven for 10 minutes. You know, you can, I do recommend poking holes in the base of the crust, the bottom of the crust with a fork. You know, what you do on the edges, if you make the little fork not, the little fork marks or not, you know, that's totally up to you. Um, I will also say, I've used this pie crust both just an hour in the fridge and overnight. And if you have time to leave it in the fridge overnight, it actually does roll out even better and flips over much easier. Um, I tend to have a little bit more difficulty flipping it out of the parchment paper when it's only been in the fridge for an hour. So just something to think about it. If you have time, make the pie crust a day ahead. All right, let's get these in the oven. in the oven. Oops, uh, got a little foggy there. Looks like the center still may have puffed up more than I wanted to. Let's get them out. All right, here they are out of the oven. You'll notice just the edges have browned up just a little. Guys, these are perfect. I thought they were a little puffy, but nope, they are good. All right, these just need to sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes before any type of filling go in. Um, you can, again, make them the day ahead. So one of these I'll probably go ahead and fill up. I think I'm making a lemon meringue pie today. The other one, I actually need a few ingredients for the taco pie. So that probably won't be until tomorrow. Once it's fully cooled off, I'll just wrap it in plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge until I'm ready for it. Y'all, the savory pie crust that I added the garlic salt to or the garlic powder to, it smells so good. <laughs> I can't wait to use it in the taco pie. Um, and then once your filling's in, the temperature you'll need to bake it out again. That will vary depending on what the filling is that you use. I do, since the edges are already browned up, I do recommend once the pie filling is in that you just do a line of, of aluminum foil around the edges when you put it back in the oven because you don't want to burn, you don't want to burn those edges. All right guys, that's it. I am on to the next recipe. Uh, I am excited about both of these. I hope you are too. I will have the list of ingredients in the description box below. And then for this, the sweet pie crust, I will also include links to my pecan pie, my keto pecan pie, and my keto pumpkin pie, both which go amazing into the sweet pie crust. All right, y'all have an amazing day and I will see you on the next video.